So today we are putting together a cheese board. Um, this is an awesome idea for a quick appetizer, an elegant appetizer, an awesome thing to bring to a party if you're asked to bring a little something, and it's a great thing to keep on hand for the holidays if you get unexpected guests. Um, or in our case, my husband loves to eat this while watching football. So I figured I would go over um, a couple of the cheeses that I decided to use today. The great thing about these cheese boards is you can be creative with whatever you have on hand, whatever you have a preference for. Um, there's a couple guidelines that I like to go by and I like to stick to three cheeses. Keeps it simple, keeps it budget friendly, and there's a little bit of something for everyone. So, first and foremost, most grocery stores have a great cheese selection. Um, wasn't always the case. I do find that Trader Joe's has an excellent cheese selection, a lot of different varieties, and they're really well priced. So that is where I got today's cheeses. Um, this is Trader Joe's Unexpected Cheddar Cheese. We've had this before in the past and it is excellent, so this is a repurchase for us. Um, it's very um, aged and it tastes a little bit of Parmesan, so it's a bit crumbly. So this is my hard cheese. I have a semi-hard cheese, which is a Jarlsberg, um, which I decided to pick this one up. It's a little bit of a nutty flavor. Um, it's very good and mild, and my husband really likes this one. And then for a soft cheese, um, you can never go wrong with Borson. This is the garlic and fine herb. They have a bunch of different flavors, but this is um, a go-to for us. So this is a great soft cheese to have on the board. So I usually start by placing those um, on a nice big, I just use a cutting board. But this one was a gift that we were given by our realtor and it has our name on it. So we don't typically use this for anything other than either decoration or a cheese board or appetizers. So this is our go-to cheese board. All right, so these are a few of the other items that I'm gonna add to my cheese board. And like I said, whatever you have on hand, whatever you pick up, you can make work. So there are the three cheeses that I went over with you. This is a deli package that Trader Joe's sells and I've bought this a few different times. It's a great selection, it's not too much of each kind, but again, if you don't have a Trader Joe's, you can just look in your deli section or go to your deli and pick three, two different kinds of cured meats that you wanna to add to your board. Um, prosciutto is an excellent one. This is a type of prosciutto, it's a dry cured ham. This is chorizo, which my husband loves. And then this is a Spanish salami. So this I'm also going to add to the cheese board. A couple things that we like to add are some type of fresh fruit, so usually grapes, a nut of some sort, so we have honey roasted nuts, a dried fruit, so dried apricots. Um, we like to add olives, and we switch them up. Sometimes we'll do the... Um, green olives. Sometimes we'll just do these, the manzanilla, and of course you need crackers. So I try to do two different kinds. This is a seven grain, and these are from Trader Joe's, and these are the pita bite crackers. These are really good. And then just for some accessories that are not needed in any way, shape, or form, but these mini utensils, which my kids actually love to use, are great for little condiments and two little bowls for the little tidbits. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this together and show you what it looks like. All right, so this couldn't be easier. So um, I'm gonna put my hard cheddar here. I'm gonna put my Jarlsberg here. And then the borsing comes in this really cool wrapper. I think it's kind of fancy looking. So you just have to be careful with taking it out, but put this over here. So, those are our three cheeses. I'm gonna leave, put a little knife in here so our guests know that that is for that cheese. Um, I am gonna cut a couple pieces of the cheddar and then there will be a fork for that. 
to add to this, we're going to add a little bowl of olives, a little bit larger bowl on the other side of nuts. Another really great um, nut is they sell um, mixed toasted nuts, and we've used those in the past. So now for the cured meats. So you can put this however you would like. However, a good trick that makes it a little bit easier for handling is, and this is going to be easier said than done, is to roll it. And it just makes for easier um, handling, but it is sliced really thin. So I like to just put a couple different piles. I've also found that if you have a large crab coming, instead of putting all, all of the cured meats, cheeses are usually okay, and sometimes, well a lot of times, better at room temperature, not so much meats. <laughs> so, put out some, and then once you go through those, just keep an eye on it, and you can always replenish. Same thing with the salami. And the salami has some great peppercorns in it. I don't know if you can see that. Another great tip is if you have people coming and you know that they are a little bit picky, um, sometimes it's helpful to put little labels. I do have a couple. <clears throat> of little ceramic labels that you can just write what they what they are eating um, and that tends to help. The chorizo is a little bit drier so I'm just going to fold those in half and obviously depending upon the amount of people you can put more less whatever works for you. So at this point I'm going to grab a knife and slice up some of my cheese. So the soft cheese I'm going to go ahead and leave just like that. The Jarlsberg, I'm going to start by slicing, and by no means do you have to cut all of it, but just to give them an idea and to get them started, you can kind of just slice a few pieces and fan them out. Now, same with the cheddar over here. And this cheddar is so good. I'm just going to cut a few pieces. However big. Craisins, we have done um, a blend of raisins and nuts. So, whatever you have that works, there's no rules. We're gonna put our grapes right in the middle for a little height. And last but not least, some crackers. We're going to add those crackers there, and then I'm just going to add some of these pita crisps. And there you have it. So who wouldn't like this to be brought to their house as a hostess? And this is an excellent, quick, put-together appetizer if you have guests coming over. Um, and it gives something for everyone. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully this is a quick tip that will help you out 
for this holiday season and we will see you in one of our next videos.